Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing um, the last sorting photo cards of 2020. So before I start, I wanted to say that um, this right here is from about two to three weeks because I usually film my videos and try to post them by the end of the week. Um, I try my best to get it done by the day that I film. But since I my schedule for my job kind of like mixed up over the previous weeks the bangman con video was actually recorded about two weeks ago but i barely posted it last week so this is all the merch that i've been getting or photo cards after i already filmed that one so yeah um as you can see i have all my binders here um almost all of them i have another binder but i don't know if i'm going to be putting anything in that binder because most of everything is just photo cards so I'm going to start off with the smaller binder first and then I'm going to move on to the BTS photo card and then the twice binder. I will say that I did go over all of my binders so they are a little bit more organized than I had them before. And I also did add in a new BTS binder because um, I wanted one specifically to be for DVDs. Like not photo cards but like merch wise so like postcards and all of that. And then the other one is like for just regular album inclusions and everything but i'll get more into that if i have to add anything into it if not i'm just gonna focus on these that are right here so for the smaller binder um i did receive my in hyphen album already i was gonna do an unboxing but it was just two albums and i didn't really feel like posting a video and editing because like um, there's only about two, three more weeks. I think it's mostly just two weeks, this one and next week, before the year ends. And so I kind of want to do a go through of all of my binders for next week's video. So I don't really think I needed to do that one. But anyway, here are the postcard. I mean, here are the photo cards, and these are the stickers that it came with. This actually takes off. Like I was peeling off this one. If you can slightly see when the light reflects on it. You can't really see, but I was pulling it off and there's a phrase behind it. Apparently, there's three of these because it's one out of three, which is the one that I pulled in my albums. So I'm not going to be going to collecting these because I can't even read what the phrase is. Next, I have my TXT photo cards. So I finally did find a trade for Subin. So now I have Yunjin right here and one of my friends was selling the target exclusive photo card so i purchased that off her my everglow photo cards finally arrived so we have those right here as you can see i only have three members right here so i am still missing one member and then everything else is for other binder i already did have these made and um i just realized i haven't put these in sleeves so i'm gonna go do that off camera real quick Okay, so I put all of the photo cards for this album already in sleeves. I know that I said that I really just wasn't going to sleeve my photo cards for this one or this binder, but I decided to sleeve them instead because to not get dusty or anything. But sadly, the Everglow photo cards are too big to fit in the sleeves that I use, so I just don't sleeve those. But here we're going to put um, Mia. This is like in no specific order, it's just um, because I have, and then I have Macne line complete. That's the only reason why they're at the front, but once I get um, on those photo card, then I'm going to move them to the back and put EU in on them at the front. It's just because I don't want to make it seem incomplete. It's the only reason why it's like this. I don't know, maybe I'll end up keeping them. Maybe not because these are actually pink on the back but now i'm just missing one photo card and it's so difficult to find them at a good price because as i said last time they're being priced very expensive i understand that it's a pre-order and it's like well i guess and not i don't know if it's really considered rare because it's a pre-order benefit but who knows oh also i did go over this binder completely i added a couple more things since the last video and i changed the type of sleeves that i was using instead of punching the hole right here closer i ended up just making some new sleeves and keeping the original side if that makes any sense so um it is a little bit more filled up than last time for yinjun i put his photo cards right here because i still am missing one of his 
photo cards as you can see and I'm going to put this one the TXT Target benefit right here because it's the same concept and everything and now I'm just waiting to trade for that one if I ever do find it. I also moved these into a different type of sleeve because I wanted to actually have them facing the right way instead of sideways. So these are all done. And here is where I'm trying to see if I can open the binder. It is a little bit more difficult to open it now that there is a lot of more things in it. I fixed it a little bit and I'm just taking this out because I have to remove this completely in order to put the photo cards in. I try to keep them as straight as possible too. And now that is complete. So now I'm just missing one of his photo cards from this previous album and then I'm complete with his collection. This is good. And now moving on to an hyphen, which is all the way here at the back. So I did go over, like, you know how Weavers, if you scroll down, it has a picture of all of the contents that are going to be in there. Obviously, they don't show the actual picture of the photo card, but they let you know how much you're getting. So I've already created the fillers, and I was so lucky not to pull both of my biases. From, I'm not going to go into collecting all of their photo cards because I think they have like two types of photo card for one album each and I only pulled one because I know that they have multiple photo cards for one album that's why you get two photo cards in one album because of the multiple types of versions of it but um, I'm not going into collecting that I just want this so I'm going to put both his sons and then Seno's photo cards like that And then I made these little things so that I could always reuse them. So I just have to take off the little post-it note and then I can reuse those again. And they're made out of index cards. I was just lazy to make them out of cardstock paper because then I had to cut each one out individually. And so I just use regular index cards. And so I have these I like this. And then that is complete. Um, I also added another sleeve in case photo cards like this. So this is the pre-order benefit if you got off Weavers. And I'm just gonna add these fillers in here. So for other albums, the photo cards will probably continue from here, or I'll just probably leave this page for like pre-order benefits, depends if they still do photo cards. And then here, I actually made this for these stickers. I just have to hold all of this down with my hand because if not, it's going to go up. I have to be very careful. Um, they did have Polaroids, which I was really hoping to at least pull one of them. But sadly, I didn't, so I just put in the original stickers right here. Hopefully, they don't end up moving around so much. So I'm just putting them like this. Oh, and there's one more thing that actually goes here, which are the postcards. So for the postcards, I was actually confused when I read the, um, what's it called? the weavers little pictures and so i thought we were only getting one random postcard of like each member or group but you actually get eight in total seven for the members and then one for the group so i'm just gonna go ahead and put those real quick over here taking all these out because i need to take those off and i'm gonna start off with youngest first so there's two different versions of each so i think i'm just gonna go back to back by keeping the day version first, unless this is the night version, and then this one up back, or should I do the red one first? Either way, both of them are going to be noticeable, so I don't really mind which one. 
think I'm going to do, yeah, this one's dusk, but this one's dawn. So we're just going to do dawn first and then dusk. So I'm going to put these by the members real fast and then I'll cut back to it. Okay, so now that I have these complete, I'm just going to put them like this and then put them onto the binder carefully. So I'm just going to speed up this part of the video because I'm not really going to talk over it. Just going to try and put all of these together. Okay, so I have officially now put all of the postcards in here of all of the members basically going in age order as they always do. And that's basically all I have for this binder to put in. Now I'm going to move on to the twice binder. So I'm just gonna get this cleaned up real fast. So now moving on to the twice binder. I have a couple of photo cards to put in because I did start buying new twice albums um so i currently for twice only have from twice a to recent albums but i only have one of each version so i have started trying to complete my collection of trying to get all of the versions so i bought um twice a the pink one but that's the one that i bought i did go and rearrange my binder completely for twice so everything is now divided by eras instead of like just going back to back and adding the photo cards per sleeve i decided to divide it up by eras so i'm going to put these together so i'm going to take out all these and see first so this one has the back and this one is colored so these will go together and then these will go together at the bottom and these i think i'm going to put them since it's the same picture, I'm just going to put them like that so they could be on their own. And then this will go like this. So the way that I arrange them is different now. I don't arrange it like trying to put them all in sleeves. I'll just arrange it like this. So I always try to start off with the oldest member first, depending on who photo cards I have. I'm moving this one from over here. And I'm putting these right here. And then for this one, I'm going from this side. And going like this. And then that's how I have them arranged. Um, depends on the amount of photo card, because since there's six for this, I have it this way set up, but there are some albums where I only have like five so I only have those sleeves I had those sleeves set up differently like for example this so I did go through and rearrange the binder completely so I'm a little bit more happy with how it looks because it just makes the binder look so much better and easier to know which eras so whenever I do try to complete previous albums before twice a gram then I can just add some sleeves to the front Moving on to the BTS binder, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, I did change this binder. One being, I decided to take out the sleeves. Like, I'm not even, well not sleeves, I decided to take out the binder dividers. Like, I'm not even kidding. I had this space available here at the top, and when I removed it, it went down to all of this space. So, it was actually a lot of room that it was taken up. So first of all, my Map of the Soul journey arrived. So these are the Weaver's photo cards. For my album, I ended up pulling Hobie again. So I am trying to trade him off for another member. And I still don't know if I want to just buy a complete set or try and find the members individually or not. Um, then in con, I have now completed my set with the last two photo cards I needed for my Japanese albums. I have these two photo cards. 
like i'm shocked at this photo card i'm shocked at how much i got it because this photo card is actually very expensive i think the cheapest you can find it is for like 60 dollars just because it's like a very old era and the photo card price i was not gonna pay 60 dollars for a photo card so i was just scrolling through Bayou one day like trying to find the photo cards that i needed for my japan since i usually buy them from Bayou or like any japan store i try to buy them and find them because they will be cheaper than how people sell them on ebay or even usa sellers so i saw the listing for this photo card with the cd for 25 dollars 25 dollars when this photo card is valued at around 60 dollars to 70 for the cheapest so i did end up buying it and because like i'm very like cautious when it comes to expensive photo cards being priced for a very cheap price i decided to pay with the buy fees everything else that i got from buy so like for this i got without any fees so the no plan but for this one i decided to get the buy plan and everything and i'm so happy because i was not scammed it was actually true the listing was actually and that's just how it is you just have to keep trying and keep looking and you will find affordable listings so now moving on to the photo cards um, I have Namjoon's open arms and I have Yoongi's closed arms. So for this one, um, it took a while to arrive because the seller messaged and was all like, they messaged me through Bai asking if I wanted it to be in a hard sleeve, which is a top loader. And I said yes, just to be precautious. And this was actually on the picture listing so like the listing was like this i thought i was only going to receive this and not the postcard because i've seen some people use like photo cards and postcards as their like brand like their at and they'll just write their at on top with like a sticky note so like people know and so i thought the postcard was not included and it was just like a brand thing but it was actually included and it came with the reply thing but sadly since i live in the u.s i can no longer scan replies since weavers knew rules or something like that certain parts or places cannot scan the codes anymore so i don't know where i'm going to be placing this postcard because i was not expecting it to arrive and then here are just these so as you can see i went back and added little fillers onto these pages because the photo cards were not taking up the whole page they were just literally in the middle of the sleeve and so i could see the whole backs and the other photo cards so i didn't like that and i went back and added some white fillers behind so now that i have yungis right here and another reason why i added the fillers was because some of the photo cards are different so like yungis i don't know if this is a new more new one or which type of press this is if you have the first press photo cards of this it's more of a blue tone rather than a green tone and if you have like the newest newest versions of this it's more shiny and reflective than this so there's various different presses of these photo cards i did buy another album of sla which is on the way i just don't know when um my friend was hosting a group order for albums or anything that anyone wanted to buy just so that our EMS would go down because the more items there is the more lower EMS will be well higher but like lower if you divide the total items between everyone so I did order another album before I ended up trading for Taehyung so as you guys know in the last video I had Namjoon's closed arms right here but someone had Taehyung and they were looking for Namjoon and so since I already had this Namjoon coming in the way I decided to trade him off and now I only have one Namjoon but I'm happy because I'm already going to be receiving the last photo card which is Taehyung so here is Namjoon's and as you can see this is what I mean it's more shinier and reflective than the Yoongi one the Yoongi I was going like this and you couldn't see the shine but for this one you can obviously see the shine so this one is more of one of the newer ones and it also is a little bit more green tone um, I think this German is actually one of the first press so as you can see it is a little bit more blue tone and it's not as reflective so those are just the different presses between these. So I'm just waiting for Taehyung to arrive. He was supposed to arrive Monday, but you know how holidays and everything, USPS is like really backed up with all of their orders. So I actually don't know when he is going to arrive. I really wanted to film this video by the time his photo card arrived, but sadly it didn't. So I'll probably just end up putting it in my own time. 
because I really don't have so much photo cards on the way since I've mostly bought everything now towards the end of the year rather than the beginning of the year. So I already have a spot for his photo card which is on the way. If it arrives today, I don't know if I'm going to be including it in the video. If there's like a weird cut, then it arrived. If it didn't arrive, then I'll just continue on with the video. And then one of my friends was selling her whole JK collection. And she had open arms and they were still stuck together. So I purchased open arms from her. So I'm just waiting for it to be shipped. And then... I think that's it for this. Then I'm going to enter the Japan section. And I know that you guys have been wanting a go-through video of my binder, which I will be doing next week. So like end of the year collection. So here goes the Boy With Love and then this is the I Need You. I need to put these in some smaller sleeves than this because these are not the type of sleeves that I use for my binder. Okay, so this one will go right here and then this one will go right here. So I'm really happy how this page is going. It's slowly becoming complete. I already have this one that I'm already watching. Um, it's not as expensive as how eBay has it, but it is very expensive compared to how I got these photo cards. It's like almost double the price. So I still don't know if I want to get it or not. And then this one I'm still on the lookout for. I have found various sellers for it and it is about the same price as these so i may end up getting that one next time and this one i found it but then the listing got deleted and it, i was actually going to buy this one because it is very expensive um but it was cheaper than what ebay had it so it was less than a hundred dollars but it included Jimin's, the group card, and then the whole CD. So it included various things. But sadly, the listing got deleted. So I don't know now where I'm going to find him. And then I just need the other version of the I Need You. I don't know if I'm going to be collecting the I Need You Christmas version. I think it's Christmas. I think that's what it is. I'm not really sure, but it's another version of the I Need You. It's Jimin. The background is black and it has like his signature in pink. Um, that one is another very like it's not rare, but is it is very expensive So I don't know if I want to be completing that one But if I do end up buying these then I am gonna be missing one and then I have his complete which I'm super happy about but There's like this other thing right here, which I'm not really sure and it's this um, These photo cards as I said, I don't know if I want to buy the complete member set or I'm thinking of just trading off for Gemmins and then just trying to complete Gemmins photo cards. If I do trade off for Gemmin, then I'll most likely just add a sleeve behind this one since it's just continuation of his Japanese photo cards. I still don't know yet. I haven't made the decision yet because I do have OT7 of these. But I think it'll just be much easier for me if I just go and try to complete Jimin's rather than trying to complete OT7 because recently now, I used to buy my Japanese albums from this eBay seller. I know it was a little bit overpriced, I'm not gonna lie, but it wasn't so much overpriced since you'd get the complete OT7 set, the complete Japanese set, and then the complete postcard, and then sometimes you would either get the um, sleeves, like the cover, sleeves or something else but you'd get completely ot7 for the total price now sadly because they did this with the map of the soul journey the seller was not doing complete ot7 sets like they used to and that's what makes it difficult i don't ever want to go and try to complete this ot7 set or if i'm just going to try and trade off for gemmins photo cards i think that'll be much easier for me to trade gemmins it will save me a lot of money but i don't know i'm still debating so now that I have that, I'm moving on to the Weaver's photo cards, which I still haven't put them on sleeves. So I do have one complete OT7 set. I'm just going to remove all of these and then put these in sleeves. These photo cards are actually slightly thicker than the regular photo cards. Okay, so now that I have these in sleeves, I'm just going to put them in real quick in age order. 
and then that one is complete and then there's one more photo card that i have which is the season greetings gemin photo card but that one i actually don't have a specific place to put him in just because it being that i don't season greetings i think this was actually the first photo card that they did and so i'm just like I don't know where to put him, so I think I'm just gonna put him here if he fits. Cause this is like my miscellaneous section. And I don't really want to put him with the DVDs. So I don't really have a space to put him for specifically because they've never done season greetings photo cards. Last year's was a little lenticular and the year before was, what was the year before? I don't remember. But he fits there, so I'm just gonna keep him there. And then moving on to the Bayman Clan. And I'm so happy because now I have officially completed Bayman Clan and I can start moving onto and completing my photo soul one as soon as my photo cards arrive i am still waiting for those to be shipped to me so it is taking a while but this is now complete with the last two that i needed so that is all i have for this binder i do need to go and get my dvd binder because i am still missing the purchase photo card so i'm going to just switch on to the next binder so here is the other binder this is my dvd binder i did end up changing it um there's nothing changed at the front or at the sides it's just the exact same all i did was take out and remove things i as you can see i did put my army kit content in here and i will be putting the content for the other photo cards as well so i'm just gonna move on to the dvd section which as you can see i added so many things in here and this is where i'm going to be putting the bookmark I do have another bookmark on the way because I had gems and I traded gems for Yungis because I don't know why but for some reason like it's so much easier to trade Yungis than it is to trade other members of Hyung Line for Magne Line. I just don't know why it is but now it's been happening more often so hopefully they're all become the same. Okay I'll put it a little bit further. I'm trying to get these to go and be the exact same. So whenever the page is like this, it's not that noticeable. So there's Jimin's. I have Yungi's on the way, which I'll try to trade either for Jimin or Jungkook. I'll probably trade Yungi's for Jimin's because I've seen so many listings of Jungkook and people are looking for Jimin's. So I don't wanna trade Jimin off right now in case I really don't get his because it is coming from worldwide, so it's gonna take a while. And that is basically all I have to put in today. So I will be going through all of my binders. Um, the other groups binder, twice binder, my BTS photo card binder, and then my DVD binder. And the new binder, my album, I call it my album binder. Just because most of the items in here correspond with the different types of album and eras BTS had. And it is also like a miscellaneous binder because it does contain the collabs and some merch that I have from my tour. I don't have anything else because I am still waiting on a couple of things. Um, and yeah, oh, little quick little promo right now. Um, if you guys go to my Instagram, which is, I'm just gonna put it at the top. That's my selling account. I am selling all of my Map of the Soul tour photo cards, my Bang Bang Con photo cards, my Bang Bang Con photo sets, and my Bang Bang Con message photos. So all of the extra ones and that I'm no longer collecting, I am selling them all. And no, I am not overpricing anything. I hate overpricing. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching.